Laura, there are um, thousands of Jews already in Saudi Arabia, American Jews, Europeans, and from other nationalities. Some of them um, uh, lived and worked in Saudi for tens of years. I have many Jewish friends in Saudi who always keep telling me that living in a Muslim country like the UAE or Saudi Arabia is so safe for them. Um, as for the current visits, or the recent visits, um, many of my Jewish friends who visited Saudi said that they were warmly welcomed in the kingdom. It is true that the word Jewish still rings an ominous bill in some uh, ominous bill in some people's ears, but overall they were very well received. And this is aligned with this is very important, Laura. This is aligned with Prince Mohammed bin Salman, MBS vision in fixing and rehabilitating the Muslim Jewish relations. This is how I see it. Well, there was historically once a strong Jewish community in Saudi Arabia, wasn't there? Can you tell us a bit about the history of that community? Well, I love history, so thank you so much for asking this. Well, you know, the first wave of, of Jews arriving in Arabia was in the third or fourth century CE. That was like almost 2,000 years ago. When the Jewish people were displaced from their ancestral homeland, Israel, they dispersed to different regions. Some headed to Iraq, others to Europe, and some went to northern and southern Saudi Arabia. Southern Saudi Arabia, which is Tayman, Yemen, and northern Saudi Arabia is Medina. Well, this is technically the first Jewish community in Saudi Arabia. The Jews were present when the Prophet Muhammad came to Yathrib, which was later changed to Medina, and they were part of the constitution of Medina. The first constitution of Islam, which is called the constitution of Medina, the Jewish people were part of it. Few incidents then caused their return to the Levant, but few remained in Arabia. And I believe in the advent of peace. I'm optimistic about maybe seeing a thriving Jewish community in Saudi Arabia, just like we have a thriving Jewish community here in the UAE. Inshallah, indeed. Now, um, Saudi Arabia appears to be a, a, a very fascinating country. You just told us a bit about the history, but it does have a, a deep and, and rich history. Um, is this part of the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's plan to open up the country to tourism? Would he like more foreign visitors to, to go and visit? Well, absolutely. If you read the Vision 2030, you will see that it's part of MBS's plan to make this region more stable by opening up to all people. You see, Laura, the Jews found a haven in the UAE. There is no anti-Semitism or at a meager rate. I always say, there is no anti-Semitism, I, I hope. Your Hebrew and Jews, has gone far beyond mine now, Luai. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still improving. I'm still, I'm still practicing. Every day. You see, Jews are, co Jews are coming here and opening, um, are coming here, I mean, to the UAE and opening their businesses and working here freely. The leaders of the UAE stressed that the Jewish community here would thrive, and I can see it thriving. It is now contagious. And this is a positive contagion. Having this warm welcoming of Jews in Saudi Arabia would never, this is very important, Laura, would never have been achieved without the vision of Prince Mohammed bin Salman. And this is why I keep telling my Jewish friends that Prince Mohammed bin Salman is a great leader that Jews should support. And I honestly see it on the ground. Many Jewish organizations in the US and in Europe look up to MBS and support him, which is in my eyes staggering. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know I've asked you this a few times before, Luai, but are we going to get a big announcement next week when the US President Joe Biden visits Israel and then Riyadh? Well, you know, so it's a week ahead. I speculate, I always say, I speculate <laughs> there will be good news for those who support, for those who support just like you and me and just like you and I and many people who support a stable Middle East and, um, and that the Jewish people are a part of it, I believe they will hear good news. I, I, I don't want to uh, go further into this speculation, but maybe we'll hear something about the expansion of the Abraham Accords. Maybe. All right. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Loai, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Loai Al-Sharif there.